fitness enthusiasts and welcome to Muscle Mode. You're in for an enriching experience today. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your support. Today we're focusing on the pivotal pull day. This workout is key for targeting those back muscles and biceps. We'll guide you through each exercise, breaking them down step by step. Plus, we'll highlight the specific muscles worked and the ideal number of sets and reps for each. So, gear up and let's dive straight into the workout, starting with our back exercises. Our first focus is on the back. We begin with dumbbell rows, a perfect exercise to strengthen your upper body. Dumbbell rows are an excellent way to target the latissimus dorsi, those broad muscles that give you that desirable V-shape. It also works the rhomboids, traps, and the muscles in your lower back. The first step is to position yourself. Stand with your legs hip-width apart, a dumbbell in each hand. Bend your knees slightly, hinge forward at the waist, and keep your back straight. Your torso should be almost parallel to the floor. Now let's get to rowing. Hold your weights with palms facing each other, let them hang at arm's length. Pull the weights up towards your chest, elbows bending and pointing towards the ceiling. Keep your core tight and your back straight. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. It's essential to keep your movements controlled. Aim for three sets of 10 to 12 reps, but remember, it's form over quantity. Next up we have pull-ups. These are a fantastic compound exercise, working multiple muscle groups at once. You're targeting your lats once again, but also your biceps, traps, pecs, and the muscles in your shoulders and lower back. To perform a pull-up, grasp the bar with an overhand grip, hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Hang at arm's length, this is your starting position. Pull yourself up until your chin is above the bar, then lower yourself back down. Remember to keep your movements controlled. Don't use momentum to swing yourself up. Aim for three sets, but don't worry about the number of reps. It's about doing as many as you can while maintaining good form. Last but not least, we have single arm dumbbell rows. These are similar to the standard dumbbell rows, but by working one arm at a time, you can focus more on the muscles on one side of your body. Start by standing next to a bench. Place one knee and the same hand on the bench for support. Hold a dumbbell in your other hand, let it hang at arm's length. Pull the weight up to the side of your torso, then lower it back down. Again, keep your movements controlled, your back straight, and your core tight. Aim for three sets of 10 to 12 reps on each side. These exercises, when performed correctly, can help you build a strong muscular back. But remember, everyone's body is different, so what works for one person might not work for another. It's about finding what exercises work best for you and sticking to them. Remember, form over speed. Keep your movements controlled and deliberate. Now let's move on to our biceps and forearms. Scene script. Time to pump up those guns. We start with the classic bicep curls. Now, bicep curls are a staple in any arm workout, targeting the biceps brachii, the muscle responsible for that coveted arm curve. To perform the curl, hold a dumbbell in each hand, palms facing forward. Keep your elbows close to your torso and your feet shoulder width apart. Curl the weights while contracting your biceps, keeping the rest of your body still. Breathe out as you perform this portion of the movement and hold for a second at the top. Remember, it's all about the squeeze. Lower the weights back down while inhaling. Aim for three to four sets of eight to 12 reps. Next up are hammer curls. This movement is similar to the bicep curl but with a twist. Literally, instead of palms facing forward, your palms face each other. This targets not only the biceps brachii, but also the brachialis, a muscle that can push your biceps up, making them appear larger. Same as before, keep your elbows close to your torso and your feet shoulder width apart. Curl the weights, hold for a second at the top, then lower them back down. Again, aim for three to four sets of eight to 12 reps. Last but not least, we have reverse bicep curls. This exercise might feel a little strange if you're new to it, but it's a fantastic way to work both the biceps and the brachioradialis, a muscle of the forearm. To perform a reverse curl, you'll start in a similar position as a regular curl, but this time your palms face backward. Curl the weights while keeping your upper arm stationary. Exhale as you perform this curl and hold for a second at the top. Lower the weights as you inhale. Go for three to four sets of eight to 12 reps. Now, here's a pro tip. Always maintain a steady rhythm and don't rush your reps. It's not about how fast you can go, but rather about the quality of each rep. When you rush, you tend to use momentum to lift the weights, which not only reduces the effectiveness of the exercise, but also puts you at risk for injury. 
And remember, it's not about lifting the heaviest weights in the room. Start with a weight that's challenging but manageable, and gradually increase as you get stronger. Consistency is key here, folks. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither are biceps of steel. Great job on completing the bicep and forearm exercises. Remember to maintain a steady rhythm and squeeze at the top of each curl. You've done an incredible job today. Let's quickly revisit the key points from our workout. Today, we focused on a beginner's pull day routine, targeting our back, biceps, and forearms. We started off with back exercises, featuring the classic dumbbell rows, pull-ups, and single arm dumbbell rows. Each of these exercises targets different parts of the back, making sure we get a comprehensive workout. The dumbbell rows focus on our lats and rhomboids, while the pull-ups target the upper back and shoulders. Single arm dumbbell rows, on the other hand, allow for a greater range of motion, targeting the entire back. For each of these exercises, we recommend three to four sets of 10 to 12 reps. Next, we moved on to bicep and forearm workouts. We started with the bicep curls, an excellent exercise for isolating and building the biceps. Then we transitioned to hammer curls, which not only work the biceps but also engage the brachialis, a muscle that can push your biceps up more to provide a bigger arm appearance. Lastly, we performed reverse bicep curls. This exercise targets the biceps brachii and the brachioradialis, a muscle of the forearm. For these exercises, we recommend doing three sets of 10 reps. Throughout the workout, it's crucial to maintain proper form and control the weight. It's not about how much you lift, but how you lift it. Quality over quantity, always. Remember, each person's journey is unique. It's okay if you can't do all the reps in the beginning. What's important is that you're here, putting in the work. Each day, you're getting stronger and closer to your fitness goals. So what's next? Rest, hydrate, and prepare for the next workout. But most importantly, be proud of what you've accomplished today. You've taken a significant step in your fitness journey. Remember, consistency is key. Keep at it and you'll see results in no time. That's a wrap on our beginner pool day workout. Well done. You've got this. Give these exercises a whirl, remember. Form is key. It's not about how many you can do, but how well you do them. And hey, we'd love to hear about your progress. So don't hesitate to share your journey with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Muscle Mode for more fitness content. Stay strong and see you in the next video.